guys, this is Kira with Creation In Between. I just wanted to do a uh, quick video, and it's going to be my first video, of my Target Dollar Spot Planner. Um, I just ne really needed something simple um, that would help me set up my dates for posts, um, any deadlines I have uh, for projects, etc. So I thought this was perfect. I didn't want to spend you know, too much money on it. Um, I do love the Happy Planners, and I think it's Erin Condren. There's a lot out there. I do have a Fedori, but it's not what I use that for. I don't use my Fedori as a planner, per se. So I bought this little binder from um, the Dollar Spot for $3. It's just a three-ring binder. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's good quality, and for $3, it was perfect. I am all for crafting on a budget. This is not the original cover. What I did was I found this scrapbook paper at Michael's. They're the big square sheets for about 59 cents. I got two of them. I just loved the, the little designs and the, the pictures on here. Uh, the color scheme was really nice and simple. I just really, really loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy two pieces and I'm going to make this my cover. I did on the back as well. Um, so what I did was I just pretty much cut out the size, left some room for, you know, the edges here. I should have left a little more, so if you guys decide to do this, cut it a lot bigger because you can always trim it down more inside. Um, I did okay on the front cover, but the back cover I kind of miscut, but it's okay. For a first try on this, I am quite happy with it. So what I did was I cut it down to size, then I Mod Podge the cover, put the scrapbook paper on, folded over the edges. I did have to hot glue the edges because, again, I didn't cut it long enough, but the hot glue held fine. So once that was all on there, I just modge podge the whole thing, let it dry, did another coat, let it dry again. Wasn't happy with how the seam came out when I did that, so what I did was I just uh, took some extra ribbon that I had and just threw it on there with hot glue. And I love it. It doesn't really scratch or anything. It's perfect. So, uh, that's the cover. And the inside. The inside was already a really nice gray, so that's why I, I love this um, pattern paper, because it has that gray on there, so it just matched perfectly. I have a little dashboard. I bought the accessories pack from the Dollar Spot that came with the... I think I still have it here, actually. Here we go. It has the post-its and the page flags. Um, I love the colors because, you know, it kind of matches everything else in here. However, I didn't like the quality of these because, um, first off, they're kind of hard to pull off and then they just crinkle and, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with them. I could always use them for something else, so I saved them. So instead, I had these post-its that matched perfectly. This green matches really well. This red, I don't know if you can see on the cover, there is red on there, so it was really a perfect match for that. And I just have random page flags. They don't match, but that's okay. I made this little dashboard uh, with extra scrapbook paper, um, this pattern. And what I did was I bought the laminating sheets from the Dollar Tree. They come five in a pack. They work really well. Uh, they're a little thick. So it was actually kind of tough to hole punch them, um, but it's sturdy, it's great, and it's easy, and fly to a pack for a dollar, that's pretty darn good. So I just stuck the post-its on there, and that's my little dashboard. I have a list that came in that accessories pack from the dollar spot, uh, just to jot things down, or just reminders real quick that I need to just glance at. The first section that I got was uh, the monthly spread. I think the pack came in monthly spread with weekly spreads and these little dividers. Um, I can insert a prior video um, explaining that. Anyway, I just literally started this. So I just have my little April spread here. Um, everything I think on here is from the Dollar Tree. Um, these little fox stickers, the owl stickers, I'm obsessed with them. They are so darn cute. I wanted to just throw them on there just because. But just washi that I was just testing out. And then these floral stickers are really pretty. 
They're the puffy kind, so when I go into May, it's gonna kind of be a pain in the butt to write on, but that's okay. I just really love them. Uh, I thought they were very pretty, and I bought two different packs. They actually have, I think I saw three different kinds. Uh, so I just got the two that I like. So, um, you know, that's just a simple little layout. I don't think the monthly layouts are going to be all too crazy. Um, I just want to be able to jot everything down real fast. I have plenty of paper clips and stuff, but I love the decorative ones. This is actually a bobby pin. Um, I got it from an Etsy shop. I don't remember offhand. I will link to the shop below. Um, it's really pretty. I bought a whole bunch of these for my wedding, and what I did was I created boutonnieres with them. Um, I think I just got some flowers and wrapped it all together in a uh, ribbon and just stuck it on a pin. But I loved it and I had one left over, so I thought it would look really cute in here. So then the second section will be my weekly spreads. Um, since I just started, this, this is the only one I have. Uh, I just wanted to do this little April showers idea. These stickers, um, I actually made them. What I did was, I think it's a website called Vecteasy. I will link it down below. Um, it's all royalty free um, vector images. So I just uh, brought them into Illustrator. They were originally little weather icons like this in the circles. They had all different ones like the sunshine and uh, snow and stuff like that. But I just took the little umbrella ones they had and the rain and everything. And I took parts of each little circular one. I think there's a little stormy one here. It's cute. And just put a couple in squares. I took some of the individual pieces and just, you know, uh, made smaller, bigger, like the umbrella I just made bigger. These little line things are also stickers. Now, um, it was really late at night when I did this, so I didn't cut straight to begin with, but you can still see that the purple's leaking through from the original pages. When I do, if I do these again, I'd make them a little wider so when I cut it down, it wouldn't, you know, it won't do that. So that was that. I will probably do a tutorial on how I did that. It's a nice little idea if you have sticker paper, it works really great. Um, this is a little sloppy when I cut it out, but, you know, this was just a quick thing I threw together. This one that I made, it's just a little resin flower that I just glued right on a paper clip. Um, I'm obsessed with making these. I just think they're really cute. I have one in my fedori. Um, I will probably be making a whole bunch of those. And uh, the third, third section that I have here, it's just also no paper that I got from the dollar spot. Um, it came with few of these little pocket folders, which are really great. I think they came with three? No, maybe this was the one with the six. I I honestly don't remember. Um, so yeah, this is just a, a place I can just jot down notes if I had ideas for a video or a blog or whatever. It just all goes there. What I don't like is that it kind of doesn't close all the way. And it didn't even before I mod podge the cover. So what I did was I went to the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. And I bought these stretchy elastic headbands. I think they came in like six in a pack, um, two of each color. I don't really know what other colors they had. So I took the red because it would kind of match the red on this. And I wrapped a ribbon around the little metal part that attaches the elastic. And I had a resin flower left over. It's a perfect color. And I just glued it together and it works very well. A little decorative piece to keep my planner closed. I was thinking about maybe attaching a pen to one, but this is always on my desk, so I don't really need to have any pens attached to it. I don't take it anywhere with me. So that is what um, my little planner looks like. I really want to just buy a whole bunch more and mod podge my own covers because it was really a lot of fun. I love it. I think it's adorable. I will be doing more spreads, and I will try to maybe film a couple of them if I think they'll be worth filming. Um, I don't really have the perfect camera angle for that, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that just yet. For anyone looking for a cheaper alternative for just a simple binder, I definitely recommend just picking up one of these. And the inserts are super cheap. It's They give you a whole bunch of stuff for just $3. 
So I think in total I spent maybe $15 for literally everything, including the elastics and just literally everything. So that is my Target Dollar Spot Planner. Um, I cannot wait to just do more spreads, fill this up, and I have been using it a lot already. So more videos to come. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. Feel free to subscribe. I'd really love to hear from you guys also. Um, if you have any questions or ideas that you'd like to see me try, that would be great. Um, so I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.